almost 0 0.055 on a gap. That's crazy, guys. What is up, YouTube? 5.0 Primo here with some more content for y'all. Uh, no content on the Mustang. We got some content on the Mazda Speed 3. So, yeah, by now, the video's out. We brought a new daily to the channel. And I'm actually pretty excited about this daily. I want to get this thing running in as good of condition as it can for something with 200,000 miles. Now, being that it has 200,000 miles, I know I'm going to have to put a little bit of money into this car, but I got this car for a steal. I'm telling y'all guys, a steal. Uh, right now I'm daily driving it. I've been daily driving this car for the past few days. So for today, I have a slight misfire in this car. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the spark plugs. We're gonna go ahead and check the condition of the plugs, but we're also gonna do a compression test just because this car has 200,000 miles. I don't know, you know, the condition of, of the compression, but since we're taking off the plugs, we might as well see what the compression is. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at compression, put the new plugs in, and it honestly, and it honestly should fix this misfire because it's not that bad. It does it every now and then at an idle, and it does it on a heavy load every now and then. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be replacing spark plugs, checking compression. Let's go ahead and get this tune-up done. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like this vid, hit that like button. If you own a Mazda, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have all kinds of how-to videos, install videos, and all that good stuff on this car coming. We're gonna get this car running in good condition, and then I'm probably gonna end up modding it because I don't know how to leave a car stop. So we'll probably end up doing that as well. So like I said, subscribe to the channel if you wanna follow this build. I got a 2022 Mustang on bags. We're doing that build as well. We're gonna go boost at some point in time on that car. So y'all don't wanna miss this content. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, first thing first, being that the intercooler's in the way, we have to get the intercooler off. So we're gonna hit those tins off. Got a couple of tins here. We're gonna pop these off, get this cover off, get the intercooler off, and we should be able to get to the plugs. I knew that was gonna happen. That's what I get for recording with one hand and trying to work on the car with the other hand. Well, I'll get I'll get that at some point. All right, so now we gotta get the intercooler off. It looks like there's two tins here. We need to take the hose off there. Uh, probably pull the hose off from here. We need to take the bottom turbo hose here. We should be able to get it off. And uh, there's supposed to be a bolt here. We'll probably get a bolt put on there since it's missing. But then we should be able to get to the spark plugs. Oh, that's a 10. Hose off here. Actually, I could probably just pop this off. Yep. Gosh, dang it. Pop them out. That way you don't damage anything. So we got the coils out, now we just need to get the plugs out. Then we'll take a look at the plugs. Oh yeah. Plugs are not in the best condition. Not only that, they're auto lights. One of the worst plugs you can put into an import. 
Look at that. Gap spread's a little below 50. And it should be from anywhere from 24 to 28. I think we found the problem with the misfire. That is nuts. Almost 55 or almost 0 0.055 on a gap. That's crazy, guys. We have a compression test kit from Cornwell. And now I'm gonna tell you, when you're doing a compression test, I make sure you have a reliable test kit. Make sure you don't have something from Harbor Freight. Trust me, I've compared a Harbor Freight compression tester to it. A, I believe it was a Maco tester and it was completely off. My readings were completely off and I was going based off of the Harbor Freight compression test kit. That was one of the first kits that I got. And I've learned that you gotta be very careful, make sure it's reputable otherwise you're gonna be chasing your tail make sure you find the right threading then we're gonna connect the gauge to the to the proper hose that fits in there we're gonna bump it about five or six revolutions with the gas pedal fully depressed so that way we can kill the injectors all right so i'm gonna fully depress the gas and we're gonna bump it about five or six times and it's good just to write it down somewhere just so that way you don't forget so for cylinder one we're at about 180 which is I would think fairly good compression number one at 180 just gonna release the pressure and we're gonna swap it over to cylinder two. Stick that in there. And we're gonna go ahead and bump it. Again, fully depress the gas. The clutch in, about five or six revolutions. All right. Cylinder two, about 175. So it's pretty close. All right, so number two. Number two, that's number five. We're gonna go ahead and do this with the other two cylinders. Release the pressure and move it over. All right, we just finished all the cylinders and we got readings from 175 to 182, which is good. They're all at least within 15 PSI from each other. And so we're good on compression. So that tells me that the misfire isn't happening because of a compression issue, which can happen. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to install the spark plugs now and put everything back together. Gap specs should be anywhere between 24 to 28. So this one's about 28. This one's about 25 to 26. About 26. So as you can see, the gap on the old spark plugs were terribly off. That's definitely why this car was misfiring. We're good to go to put the new plugs in. I highly recommend the NGK Iridium plug. Just gonna drop them in slowly. Gonna go and hand tighten all the plugs. Go and hand tighten. I usually just kind of crank it down just till it gets a little snug. It's gonna do a quarter of a turn and it should be good. Same thing with this one, I'm just gonna snug it down a little more. Quarter of a turn, good. Quarter of a turn, good. Quarter of a turn. Now we got the plugs in, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble everything and put the coils back in, put the intercooler back on and we're done. Now before this car used to misfire whenever I'd give it a moderate to heavy rev. So we're gonna see what it does now. Good. 
All right, and there you have it. That's how you do a tune-up on a Gen 1 Mazda Speed 3. If you have any questions, just drop down in the comments and I will get to you if I can. Like I said, we got a 2008 Mazda Speed 3 on the channel. This is the daily, but this is what we are working on. We're gonna try to get it into better daily form. And I might mod it just because that's just the kind of person I am. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Help me out here. Till the next video. Peace. All of my songs, yeah. I don't know what can I say. They don't wish that's what I'm saying by his grace. That is the shit I'm the lace. Running away, got me stoned, man. Feels like I'm stuck in a maze. Shoot at the uplifts of case.